This is all we got Show me life, show me love This is all we got Show me love, show me love One of these would look nice in the garden. Do you know what these are, don't you? The faces of Janet. <laughs> naughty, naughty. We've had a look in the souvenir shop. Tat but dry. We are now heading towards a pretty little church. I shall show you. We are heading down into the delves. Oh, there's only railings on one side. This could be precarious. Yeah, looks like a little bit of two by two. We've eaten a lot, so I'll let you go forward on your own. <laughs> I'll carry my 13 stone independently. Correction, 13 stone six. Actually, probably 14 stone. After this cruise it, no trolls underneath here. And that's where we've just come from. Heading back over the little bridge. I hope it leads to good weather. Because I'm ready to go back and have a Johnny Rockets and a milkshake. Mm. It is extremely swippy. Swippy? Swippy? It's extremely slippy. I've only got me, um, me Nike trainers on that have probably seen better days and have no grip so we might go over there's no one behind me so I don't feel rushed we are just following another family along this absolutely beautiful beautiful stream the water looks so good you could drink it this could be like a little session dreaming river walks with Jamie like Julia Bradbury. The streams and rivers of Norway with JLG. Welcome to Stream and River Walks with JB Law Green, YouTuber, content creator, comedian. <laughs> Julia Bradbury, nothing on me. All I need is a black lab, a flat cap, I'll look the part. If I get nettled, I'll be annoyed. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Very kind people letting us pass. British, obviously. Anybody that's been on a cruise know the, um, there's a lot of cultural differences in terms of letting people pass. Oh, I'm going to have to jump here. I wonder what a Steinholen is. Oh, this is nice. Isn't it? Go on, Jan. You can do it. It's no, no, you can do it. You're all right. You got it. I think you'd be better with your brolly down, so you balance your arms out, so your you, you weight's even. River tours with JB Law Green and his mother-in-law.
You got it, John. <laughs> Just to put that into context, what Janet's talking about, we're going from a rock onto here and then onto here. Fine. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Woo! Yay! It's a little bit disorientating, I'm not going to lie. And some of these wooden planks are bowing. Let's just pan around and see what that looks like. We did it. We all did it. Anthem's right over there. And we are... Adventure. <laughs> Lost in paradise. <laughs> That's the church, but which is what we were coming to see. Oh, am I in focus? Oh, no. There we are. On to the next bridge. <laughs> My God, I'm going to write to the ITV. They could commission a series. I reckon four episodes on a Sunday, 5 p.m., Seems to be the, um, the standard time for people to settle down for, a, for an evening. We are now heading for another bridge. Still no sign of a troll. Still no sign of a troll. There's plenty on our Instagram. <laughs> it's what? It's slippy. Oh, I better stop filming. What do you want to do? Do you want to walk back? Do you want to walk back? All right, we can walk back then. Saves me going down this slippy bank. Come back this way then. Are you going to get up though? That's the thing. I'd go, I'd sidestep it. I'm absolutely recording this because it's got Janet falling over, written all over it. Come on, Jeff. Through, through the wilderness. Oh, well done, Jan. You stayed upright. <laughs> What are you putting your arms across your chest for like that? It's very overgrown and my feet are already putting sweat through. Excuse me, very wet, my feet. We can do, we can say piss, it's all right. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Dee 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 dee, I don't know the words. I don't think Heidi High is from Sound of Music, Stephen. Yeah. Heidi High is a programme from the 80s where people in yellow coats used to run a camp like Butlins. Okay. Sound of Music and Heidi High. Right, we're off on for round two across, hoping for a slippage from somebody. <laughs> I hope it's not going to be me. Nope, it's not going to be me. Not this time. What a day! I'm staying to the left. It doesn't help to look down. I don't like looking down. <laughs> yeah. Pair of pensioners over the bridge doing well. Doing us all proud. I don't like looking down when I'm walking. Feels sick. It feels sick. Are you ready for a Johnny Rockets? I'm ready, yeah. Stephen wants two paddies between his mouth. I've mean, been dropping off two paddies straight after, but if it's more than anything to go about. Lovely. <laughs> Let's go back to the ship. It is 11.30. So we're now heading in to, Pre, it's called Bun Pre. Now I've seen a few of these, so I'm assuming they are quite popular. Next door is a little coffee shop. I just need some chocolate and some crisps. That's why I'll go past that. <laughs> we have just entered the supermarket and I nearly got my maths wrong. I'm saying, Stephen, that Danish is £14.70. It wasn't, it was £1.40. <laughs> so yes, 
it's very difficult to work out krona because it's so big so I'm always constantly looking at Google of how much something is in krona into Great British Pounds if anyone's got a better way of doing that please let me know I've just picked up some paprika tucks not seen them in the UK we're on the hunt for chocolate this is looks like Aldi no thank you very much <laughs> oh I've always wanted a king size Jap Grab it. I'm having a dime. Oh, no, I'm not. What do I want chocolate-wise? Oh, no. I'm going to get one of these. What's this? Fruit and nut. That'll do, mate. 55. I don't know how much that works out at, but I'm having it. Oh. Steve, it? They definitely look like Port Rodneys. If anyone's not sure what a Port Rodney is, Google it. People from Yorkshire will know what a Port Rodney is. Mm, I do like paprika crisps, sour cream, we'll salt and pepper. Alright, I just want crisps. I'm not having Pringles because I can get them anywhere. I'm going to get their own. I'm going to get these salt and pepper ones. 35 kroner. I don't know how much 35 kroner is, but they look terrific. I'll just check now what they are, how much that is. The crisps work out at £2.58. It's quite a big bag, so I don't think that's too bad. I think it's fat. I think that's pretty good to be fair. Let's go and pay. We are now heading back to the ship after we've bought our goods. Where once we, we get once we get back to the cabin, we will show you what we got from the supermarket and the cost of that. Um, and then we're gonna go to Johnny Rockets and get a milkshake, a burger, and some fries. Because we've skipped breakfast and now we're starving, and the time is five past twelve. So a little tip, when you come off at Alden, everybody will turn right, you turn left, and keep on walking down here, and then you'll see on the left hand side, a little brown hut. Pictures in front of this little brown hut are the best pictures you'll get in front of the ship that you're sailing in on. So we're just now heading towards it and you'll be able to see on my left we have Anthem of the Seas and we're going to get a picture just down here. And here we are. The little brown hut. I don't know what happens in there. Probably murders. Um, and there you can see the Anthem of the Seas people are off on their shore excursions and the time now is 20 past 12. The sun has come out, which is dry, and we're going back on board, <laughs> as you do. Bon cues to get on. Each time we've got back on board, there's always um, drinks and stuff for you to have when you get back, which is very good. Oh, it needs to be card. So we are at Johnny Rocket. So just been to collect our milkshakes. If you are a gold crown and anchor, you get 50% off a milkshake. So that's worth knowing. To get gold, you don't need many points. We were gold after one cruise, so that just shows you. This vanilla milkshake is absolutely gorgeous. So thick and creamy, just as I like it. The Hershey's chocolate milkshake, it's delicious. So thick and creamy just how i like it <laughs> the three stooges sat waiting for their johnny rockets and that's where you go and order just there order just there and then pick up just there they give you one of these so when you order they give you one of these and then once it's ready i'm assuming it'll just buzz so we have now got the goods let's have a look the original burger and this came to um, $29 just for the food. The milkshakes were separate at $3 each. $29.98. What's your um, verdict of Johnny Rockets for the money? That's an average, probably about a four and a half. Yeah. It didn't really have that much taste. The burger was all right, it weren't overly warm. 
it was just a standard burger. The shade is very nice, but I would say those fries are the same fries you probably get in Windjammer, just a little bit warmer. And the burger is probably the same burger you get in the Windjammer, just on a nice fancy burger with people going, hello, goodbye. This is our little Norwegian haul. So I got what I believe, well, not what I believe, it's quite easy, simple to see. It is fruit and nut. It's not Cadbury's, it's free air. This total haul came to £11.50, I think. Stephen went uh, for a king size Jap. We think it's a Mars bar, so we're going to see what this is. Are you wanting to eat this now? In a bit. So we'll let you know how Stephen gets on with his king size jab. And then we've got some ballerina originals, which are just chocolate biscuits, I think. I can't, I don't even really know what you- All like them cheap Spanish biscuits you used to buy when you go to Spain. All right, okay. Um, I've got these to take home. Uh, these have not been eaten while we're here. Tux paprika. I love the tuck cheese and bacon ones, but you can never find them anywhere. If anybody knows where I can find some tuck bacon biscuits, Please let me know. This giant bag of Chip and Vin Football Hagden Marud Potigul um, Crisps Salt and Pepper um, These were 36 So while Stephen's trying his jab I'm going to I'm going to try the fruit and nut which is very very nice and you can see here that it is just like a Mars bar, isn't it? Yeah. How's the job? It go. <laughs> I'm going to have a try of these salt and pepper crisps. Oh. That's sure a love review, eh? They're nice. I've had much better crisps, and I, I think I'm a crisp connoisseur. I put quite a few in because I wanted to get the full flavour of the pepper and the salt. They are a good solid 7 out of 10 crisps. <laughs> are they on par with Yacht Club crisps? I think so. Yeah, listen. They're very good. Yeah, so people watch for the last five minutes. You eating crisps? Bye. We are now leaving Alden. We've had all the weathers today. Rain, wind, sun. Got to know you before you faded away. I got to know you. Got to love you. Just keep walking down to separate. difficult to vlog in there today um, but um, in summary Janet gave her prime rib 2 out of 10 Jeff gave it a 10 out of 10 I mean you've got complete opposites there for the same product but anyway um, I would give my lamb curry um, 2 out of 10 it weren't very good and Stephen's chicken thing was probably a 0 or something or other what are you doing with that? Just my head looks like an alien <laughs> um, and then we went um, to watch a comedian, Ricky Jones, Ricky J. Ricky J. Ricky J. His first 10 minutes was poor, <laughs> but after that he got um, very comical. Um, and then we've been in Vintages with Michelle and Craig. 
and oh, their no. son Aaron. Eh, eh, Ron. Have you seen that on yeah, TikTok? Eh, eh, Ron. <laughs> eh, eh, Ron. Um, you've no idea what you're talking about, but check that out on TikTok. Um, so yeah, we've been in there. We had some great drinks with them. Amazing company. Good laugh, great yeah. company. Um, so, um, so yeah, we're going to bed. We're in Stavanger tomorrow, and it's great. We're going to go to the Proud Mary and have a few drinks. Bye. Bye all. Show me life, show me love. This is all we, all we got. Show me love.